Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get to this glam AF makeup look. So pretty. I'm not gonna act like I came up with this by myself. Um, I did get inspiration on Instagram. I don't remember the lovely lady that did this, but she probably did it way better than me anyways, so. Yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe below. I am doing a giveaway, so make sure you check that video out. I'll leave a link in the description box. Make sure to check it out and enter and see what there is to win. And make sure to share all of these videos so we can get to a thousand subscribers and do an even bigger giveaway because I am so ready. Yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And now I'm going to be going in again with the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I'm so sorry I keep using this. It just always has a shade that I need, but we are using other palettes, so don't worry. I'm just going to be using the Saffron shade in it, and I'm going to be putting that in above the crease. Also, in the outer part of my eye, halfway in, because we're doing a half cut crease. So. mess it's because my self cleaner I literally forgot to wash it off so all of my freckles and like my pimples are enhanced right now in like a brown color so apologize <laughs> it will go away in a couple days once I like wash my face and everything but it's fine you now and once you think that it's like crazy or anything now we're gonna be going into the Jaclyn Hill working palette and we are gonna be going into this shade right here this darker red shade this one's gonna stay in the outer V so we're gonna need a more densely packed brush to put that there so I'm just gonna take this densely packed brush and we're gonna go in on it very very outer portion of my eye I'm going to be taking a fluffy blending brush if I can find one it still needs to be precise but so like this one this is a Japanese 232 brush fluffy but dense or fluffy but precise my bad we're gonna be taking the black shade of her palette with the lightest hand ever. We're just gonna fluff that in the very, very outer portion. We're not dragging it any further. We are keeping it in there. I'm gonna go back in with the blending brushes. We're gonna go in with this little small one and we're just going to blend kind of an oval shape. We don't wanna take it too far on the lid. And now we're gonna take the bigger blending brush and just start going to town again. We've done about as much blending as we can do. Now I'm gonna go in with the tart shape tape in the shade light, and we are going to pack it on the inner part of my lid, cutting my crease halfway. small thin layer. Right, so now we have to get a little bit creative because I do not have like a blindingly white eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using this lip palette from Anastasia. We're gonna be using the primary white shade and we are packing. Interesting. I wonder how this is gonna blend out though. So let me see what I can do. I don't blend out that bad. It's just gonna take a couple tries, but that's okay. break from eyeshadow like they feel like saggy brown eyes and mm, that's really scaring me <laughs> i have to take a makeup break for the next couple of days and we're gonna go ahead and do the highlight of this look which is the glitter liner okay we're going to be using the tardiest yes the tardiest tart pro glitter liner in the shade white gold 
we're going in guys we're going in we're going to do a half cut crease so we are just going to draw it halfway through my eyeball about like a half cut crease does that like make like i almost like the full cut crease is better but it's interesting it's very interesting to say the least let's take off the tape ow okay tell me why my lips are super chapped I'm using my normal, ugh, I'm getting another pimple wand. Using my Rimmel Stay Matte on my T-zone. Use my Elf Hydrating Primer on my cheeks to hydrate them because they're super dry. And then we're going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation that I got on sale, but I actually really like it. Ah! Oh my God. Wow, I just got freaking foundation on my stool and it's like white. Why did I do that? Why? Oh my god, Sam, stop. I ruined everything I touch, for real. All right, so this is in the shade Light Nude, 302, because I'm very self-tanned right now. So, I'm allowed to use it. Yeah, this is definitely helping. My, like, face is just throwing me off. It's so, like, off its normal color right now that I'm just like, oh my god. Now we're going to be using my favorite Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. Oh, in the shade Medium Light. It is my life. I love it more than the Tarte Shape Tape. Don't kill me. But mark my words, it's better if you have not used it. It's an oldie but a goodie. Alright, so now I'm going to be using my Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder. And we're going to set my under eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and set my cheeks with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now, we are going in with some Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Going in with this fluffy Real Techniques brush and we are shaking it off and going in. Now we're gonna be going in with my Shade and Light palette, like always. I have not found a contour palette that I like better. I'm gonna be contouring with Shadow Play and Subconscious. I'm going to be trying out the Anastasia Blush Kits. And I have no idea what shade I want to use, so I might just like mix them all together, to be honest, because they're all super pretty. I'm going to take all but the light pink shade and just mix them and go. We're going to see what color this makes. Oh my god. Oh boy, here come my baby hairs. Always when I blend, you know? Now, I'm gonna be using my girl Casey Holmes's Smashbox Highlighting Palette because I love her. That's my favorite beauty one. We are going to be taking the shade, this one right here. <laughs> what the frick, Sam? I need to spray it first. Okay, she literally killed it with this palette. I'll need, I'm just gonna point that out. I'm gonna blend out with my fan brush right here. Just going over those areas again. So now I'm gonna carve out my contour with some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder again. Real quick, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. We're just gonna speed it up. Y'all already know um, how I do them with the NYX Tainment Rain Pomade, the Make Me Brow by Essence, the Brow Filler, and the Anastasia Beverly Hill. Actually, we're gonna use the NYX Brow Pencil today, not the Anastasia one. Give that one a break. But anyways, same concept. And let's speed it up. Ugh, my lips are so chapped, it's not even funny, guys. Oh my god. Let me go ahead and we're gonna pop on some mascara real quick. Some Too Faced Burns and Sex. Nothing burnt. Oh, wait. Ha! I had the Lancome one running out, so I guess we'll use that one instead. We're gonna pop on these falsies, you know? We're gonna smoke out the lower lash line real quick. We are going to smoke it out 
using the Jaclyn Hill shade that we were using earlier. Some of the white as well. What we could also do. I have white eyeliner. Who would know? I bought it accidentally one time, but it's finally gonna come into play, right? We're gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip in the Sage Seraphine. Seraphine, Seraphine. guys so i've been messing around with my lips for like twenty thousand hours i am finally done um hopefully it doesn't look a little crazy we're gonna hope it doesn't oh wait no we're not done oh i got to highlight my brow bone so now we are officially done i think this is the finished look guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe below. I am doing a giveaway right now as well. So make sure to check out that video. I'm going to leave a link up here. And yeah, that's it. We'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.